mama told me One day I'ma grow up big and I'ma be a king And my papa told me It's okay to say your shit hurts Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this So far life they call living what I call it strange And I bet I'll do it Cause I'm on my way and strong enough that yeah. I can shake the pain Hey, Mr. Sunshine, Mr. Rainstorm me What's going on everybody? Welcome to another vlog Today we have got a little bit of a fix on the car, so we're gonna go head up to my friend Dave's. He's gonna fix the uh, little issue with it, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. I also have work today, so I've got to go there before work. It's like super early in the morning. Neither of us are morning people, so this is gonna be funny trying to do this and film it as well. So we'll just see what happens, and uh, yeah. Let's head on over there real quick because I literally don't have much time before I've got to go to work. And on my way to work afterwards, once we fixed it, hopefully it fixes fine, fingers crossed. Uh, I will explain a few little things and updates that I want to do for the channel and uh, we'll go from there. And then, yeah, so let's just jump straight in the car and go. <laughs> One eternity later. Go follow. The car is so much lower than mine. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Oh, so I gotta change the seat first. I'm about to drive Digger Devil's car. Insane. Now, where is this first gear? Because I don't want to put it in reverse. There it is. Oh my god, this is insane. I, his car is so much more powerful than mine already. I don't go any further than that. Oh my god, his car's insane. This car is awesome. I want this car, I'm jealous. I did it without stalling it. <laughs> I was like a little bit on the accelerator and I was like moving forward, I was like, this is different. With mine to go that fast, that forward, I have to like full throttle it to just to get there compared to yours. Hello. So if I put my car like here, it should be all right, right? Yeah. So it just like leaves the front end there and then I'll drive it up on top of them. Yeah, yeah that's it. Just pull it in. Start to turn it in a little bit. And then... I swear, I just wheel spun coming up his driveway. I don't like going up driveways and it's quite gravelly, so I just wheel spun the whole way up. Oh my god, there's gap to get out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look how close that is. <laughs> Oh, 
We'll straighten up in a minute. Is this the part? Yeah, it is, yeah. Wait, so is this an ST part as well? No, they're all the same across all Fiestas and Fusions. Well, I like that it says ST. It makes it feel like I've got an ST part now. That's interesting. But technically, is my car an ST now? If I put that on, it's ST modified. <laughs> it's bollocks, man. It's absolute bollocks. 0.1% ST DNA. The first thing the first thing you have to do on these is swap these because they use the same part on every single one. You know what I mean? So what you can do is push that bushing out there and then put a different one in, but yeah, have a mini rinse, what you want. <laughs> nice and light. Oh my god, it is actually pretty light. What you got to do is hang out your window and log, and you got to initially like go and get on it onto the first lip, otherwise it'll just push him away. And then just put close down brake on. Yeah, and just like, like, and just get your way up. You've got to put a decent bit of power and clutch on it. That's it, go on, go on, don't be scared. It'll catch you on the other end. Go on. That's it, that's it, you got it. See what I mean? Try. See what I mean? It catches you and it'll just. Yeah, yeah you're good. First try as well. Yeah, man, well done. Well done. I'd probably leave it running, I'll show you the thingy. Well, that's weird setting up like that. Raise suspension, monster truck. You need to correct the colours on your screen, all this screen's. Not very good. Probably the screen. Very isn't pasty. It? That bit there is what we're swapping. Right. Oh, if you I look at yours, you can actually see it is smaller. So putting mine on is a little bit lot. Yeah. They're all the same lot size, so it should fit. And we have got to take that one off, that one off, that one off, and that one. Right. Take them all off. That metal plate transfers over to it, and then you put my part on. Yeah. It might be worth just offering it off, make sure it is the same size. Yeah. I hope it is. <laughs> I love cold though, they're all the same. So this one is a bit beefier. It might still work, but it might be, you know, that's weight reduction as well. So my car is like, it's like at least one horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> Power to weight ratio is going up a little bit. <laughs> How are we looking? It kind of looks the same when you put it together. Oh, that makes it it sounds like season two may be starting for you already. This might be our project car. What is wrong with it? A whole season trying to find one noise. Oh, look at that. That's your gearbox there. Right. I thought it was going to be that making the noise, but I cannot find anything rattling around it. It's inside of it. If you put your tab right on it, you can hear it. It's inside there. Yeah, you can hear it from there. here. It sounds like something there. So, something's loose in there, say your hydraulic cylinder, say like it's packed up, yeah. and it's just doing that. So when you put pressure on it, it's leaning on it, so it won't rattle anymore. Right. So you do need to go back to your garage and say the hydraulic slave cylinder's Right. And while you're there, you may as well put a new clutch in there. <laughs> Kingdom. <laughs> this is oh, how right. we do it out here. So have you filmed why 
It's broke. A little bit, but it'll probably end up being commentary. So. Yeah. I'll do it real quick. So basically, the thing is is broken. What did you say it was? The clutch. Clutch. And the clutch light. master cylinder. Right. Which is the hydraulic light lever that pries the clutch off the flywheel. Right. Off the engine is basically worn and shagged, and that's rattling around. So, so like I said, the thing is broken. <laughs> yeah. You need a new clutch, basically. Three-piece clutch. Ah. But under warranty, baby. Well, if everyone like subscribes, I get a million subscribers. I can afford it. So yeah. they're subscribing, you know. That's <laughs> it, yeah, man. Need ad revenue. <laughs> we feature animals on this channel. This is the sympathy. Um, what do you call it? Consolidation prize. No, what do you call it? The emotional support animal. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're upset about a broken car, but there's animals too. Animals exist. They make life so much better. How much oil are we looking at? To say I topped it off like two millimeters over the line last time. It should be okay because I can't see any oil leaks. How are we looking? Yeah, it's not bad. Nice. All right, people. So we're now driving. I haven't actually edited any videos. I've recorded like this before. I haven't edited any, so I don't know if this is going to be a nice, stable place for the camera to be like this. But uh, yeah, so hopefully it is. But I'm gonna try and talk to you about the summary of what's going on. Now, there's a problem with my clutch. We thought it was gonna be something else, and it's not. We had the part ready to put it on, that was the plan. We were gonna put the part on, and we we're gonna change it over. But no, that's not what ended up happening. What we ended up finding out was it's actually a problem with the clutch. Now, if you ask me what the problem is, I can't actually remember off the top of my head. <laughs> But one day, I will be good enough to remember certain things like that. You know, I'm gonna learn from Dave. He's gonna tell me a lot. Good old Digger Devil, he knows a lot about what he's talking about. But I can't full on pin my car anymore. Basically, there's a problem with the clutch, and it could mean I ever need a new part for the clutch, which I can't remember what he said, or I need a whole new clutch to put it in, or like something wrong with the gearbox. So. Yeah, that's more of a problem than I was really hoping for. I'm having to like go back to like when I was in a driving lessons kind of driving. I'm having to be really careful with like raising the clutch and everything and shifting less aggressively. I've never gone over speed limits, like I don't drive like an idiot kind of thing. I have a lot of respect for my life and other road users. So yeah. Just apparently I didn't have enough respect for my car to make it last long. <laughs> so basically no launching, no high revs, no drag racing at traffic lights whenever I'm next to someone. And I really enjoy doing because I'm really good at it. Uh, but if the plans that Digger Devil have uh, happen, I won't need my car for drag racing. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. You know, it's still just plans in the work. I'm not going to reveal too much, but what I'm going to say is you guys definitely want to go subscribe to his channel because... Oh, pothole! Ah, oh, that's a new one! I couldn't even dodge that because it's like full road. This is literally the worst road in the entire United Kingdom for potholes. Right where I'm at right now. It is so horrible for potholes. Yeah, like I was saying, you guys really need to subscribe and go follow uh, Digger Devil because he, he's got some cool stuff coming up in his next season of like content this year. We're basically in the same boat, me and him. We're both waiting for good weather because making content in England is really difficult to do because the weather really stops you from doing much. It's constantly raining, the roads are just horrible to drive on because they're just constantly slick surfaced. You never know when it's going to snow in winter because it could just suddenly happen in spring. It just snows in the most random times in England. So, you know, it's, it's eventful. You can make fun videos where things happen that you just don't expect to happen with the weather. But yeah. So my idea is start biking again and stuff like that. Do some mountain biking in this weather and then when it gets a little bit drier, go back to BMXing. Uh, that's kind of my plans for the channel. And I also want to do some car content, drive around a bit, uh, take my BMX to new places by just driving to new skate parks or new BMX tracks. And uh, yeah, see where it goes from there. 
I'm nearly at work. I don't know when my camera's gonna cut off, so I'm gonna end the video here for now, and I will probably see you guys later on uh, in the uh, video once I come out of work. So yeah, wish me a good day at work, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Okay, it is now, ignore that, it is now hour forward, it's actually 9.56. And I am just finishing work. We've got like the lights down here. Uh, try and add to the vlog to see if that makes a better vlogging experience, you know, better lighting for the camera when I'm in the car. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much just gonna end the vlog here anyway because I have nothing else to do with my day now because I finished work six hours after I was supposed to finish. So the rest of my day is gone and I'm not doing anything else now. So yay, I am completely exhausted. Not only was it, did I do six hours more than I was supposed to, it was insanely busy like it was the most stressful shift i have ever done in any work experience or anything in my career life at all so yeah so i'm gonna go home now uh probably won't be editing now like i wanted to have like this and another vlog before this to edit and uh which will be for the lights which by the time this is out you'll have seen that one anyway so yeah no spoilers there but uh yeah so that's what's wrong with the car and everything this morning um more than what I was hoping for. Hopefully it's not like just gonna spiral into losing the car or being big problems. Hopefully it can just be something we can get sorted out and be cool. And uh, yeah, so if you'd like to see more videos, click that subscribe button. Like the video, share the video, spread the word. Go follow uh, Digger Devil. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, Mr. Sunshine, Mr. Rainstorm, meet me in the conference room, we need to brainstorm.